Subscribers and fans, Iceman here. And in this video, we're going to compare the freaking Godzilla from the legendary films to the upcoming Monster Planet Godzilla. Now, so far, we have limited information on the Monster Planet Godzilla, but we know he's going to be the largest of all the Godzillas yet, and he seems to be extremely durable, with organic matter plating all about him, and a girth greater than anything we've seen yet in a Godzilla kaiju. That's right, he's thick as a mother. So when it comes to durability, I speculate that the Monster Planet Godzilla might last longer than the legendary Godzilla. Now the legendary Godzilla proved to be extremely dexterous and agile in fighting, although some have claimed that he was very slow. His timing was well. An example is when the male Muto was flying toward him, and Godzilla timed it correctly and slapped the shit out of him with his tail, hurling the male Muto against a building, killing it. He also went straight for the jugular when attacking the female Muto, so I would say that he was pretty damn smart, right? However, his atomic breath, while powerful, was rather slow comparatively. It oozed out in a rather rapid rate, like magma being shot from a fire hose. The monster planet Godzilla, however, deemed an extremely fast and powerful atomic breath beam, spinning it like a freaking lightsaber. It was very swift, almost to the speed of light itself. So I'll be curious to see how powerful this atomic breath is. We do see it strike one of the human spaceships in the trailer, and it probably scared the shit out of them. But nonetheless, it seems damn powerful. Now the thing about the monster planet Godzilla is that he drove humanity itself off of planet Earth, bringing their civilizations to ashes. The legendary Godzilla hasn't yet achieved such a feat, nor might he desire. However, time will tell. The monster planet Godzilla is a hybrid with plant life itself, nearly becoming one with planet Earth. Both Godzillas have been shot with human weaponry, including missiles and later renditions of technological warfare. But I can't help but wonder, who would kick the other's ass in battle? Let me know who you think would win in the comment section below. And like this damn video if you haven't yet, for I am the Iceman. Peace be with you.